Hi everyone, I told you that I would show you the mini album that I made for my dad. Um, I do want to let you know that this does not have any pictures in it and it is far, far, far from being done. Um, I don't really have very many embellishments in there yet. I've just been working on it for the past um, few days. But I just wanted to give you an idea of the color schemes and if you have any advice or things that I can do for embellishments, that would be wonderful. Um, this is the front cover and all of the paper that I used is from the My Mind's Eye Complete Boy Collection. So, um, I forgot to mention that this is a paper bag album, and I used the Celebrate It brand paper bags from Michaels. So that's what it looks like on top. This is what it looks like on the side. I will be putting another piece of cardstock over um, this section right here and also the side, so it'll give it a more finished look. And when you open it up, um, this front little piece right here is a insert for a tag. There's an opening there. And then what I also did is I went ahead and I made the tags for the side. Um, there are different shapes, and what I did for these is I took a um, file folder and I just cut down different sizes of tags that I'd like to use. They're not all the same size, they don't all look the same, and that's kind of what I wanted. So it's the brown polka dots on one side and then kind of the blue um, faded design on the other side. Now, as you all know, in the paper bags, there's actually enough room in here for um, two tags, and I um, haven't made two tags on each, and what I mean by that is there's another little slot right there. Um, and I may do that, but right now it's just going to be the one. See on the other side, we have this is kind of a squared um, design, green, and um, for my little tabs here in the middle, I just want to give you a rundown of what's going on here. Um, what I did is I took the initials of my dad, my brother, and myself, and I put them on some of the inside little inserts here, and um, I also put the year that we were born, so I really hope my dad doesn't watch this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so my dad's name is Bill, and so that is why there's a B on there. And I used um, a Recollections flower for that, and then some little um, crystal bling. I also use this really neat lace. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's really, really delicate. There's a lot of little eyelets in it, and I got that at Tuesday morning. And 57 was the year he was born. And you flip it over, and I'm having a hard time with my Distressed Ink just because I'm having to use a makeup wedge because I'm not finding the tool that's used for the Distressed Ink. So if any of you know what that's called, I talked to the people at Michael's. They looked at me like I was crazy, so i um, kind of at a loss there. But I did try my best to distress this page. I also used a stamp here and made it look kind of dirty. I took a dimensional sticker for the top here. And what I did for these little tags is I put some journaling um, spots on them, but I also um, distressed the top to give it another dirty look with um, some kind of industrial looking brads. There's actual screws on the inside. And like I said, none of the pages are really done, so this is what we have so far. We have another one of those tags, and this one is smaller than the last. So it looks like that with a little peak at the top turn it over and you have that design on that. So I'll leave that out. Um, here is my page, or I guess my two pages, and um, I wanted to go with some softer hues for mine just because the rest of it is kind of more masculine, but I also tried to keep the masculine element, so I went with this blue paper and it's really, really pretty. Um, and when I finish this, I'm going to try and keep it a little bit more feminine as well as far as the embellishments go. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Um, here we have an M. My name is Michelle. And what I did is I took um, some kind of more feminine lace. I got that at Tuesday morning as well. And also this uh, paper flower here with a um, blue topaz um, bling in the center, and then I also have some music note butterflies here, and the year I was born, which is 83. So, that's what I did there. 
And then on the other side is just kind of a green paisley design and some more blues on that side. And the tag on this is fairly large. It's a full scale there. And then on the other side is kind of a gold color. Um, what I wanted to do with this is I have a picture in mind that is actually going to take up this entire tag. Um, but I thought that that would be just fine since it is kind of tucked away here in, in this insert. And then on to my brother's page. And I did this by age because I am older. So I don't want you to think that I <laughs> I get to be before him. Um, this is um, the first page of his. And of course we just have the sun on there right now. Um, here is more distressing that I tried. It didn't work so well. And um, some more lace that I got from Tuesday morning. And it is just gorgeous. Um, that's a dark chocolate brown. I put a little embellishment there. Um, these on this paper, it's actually milk caps um, on the paper. So I thought that, that was really neat. And he was born in 87. On the other side, we just have the gold going on against the reddish gold. And in here we have a tag that's different than the others with that green that we saw before and also a bluish gold. The very last page is going to be for family. So this will be family portraits, um, family get-together pictures. This one I did not leave open for a tag, um, just because I kind of wanted the whole album to be a little bit different on each page, so you don't know what to expect. And then again, I did the same um, pattern paper on the back as I did the front. And what I'd like to do is kind of have a, another uh, piece right here of the cardstock for the binding, and then what I'd like to do here is have a little button closure here, and then put some... Um, maybe ribbon or something to wrap around that for the closure and then obviously the front would be um, embellished and, and um, finished. So that is my Father's Day album and I still have some time to work on it but I am trying to get it done um, so that I have a little bit of time before then for some breathing room. Um, let me know what you think and I would love to hear any comments or feedback and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.